architecture in his building. Um, well, I feel like it says a lot about his like character because all of them are really big and tall. Donald Trump, he has like all these courses on like how you can become rich, like all these learning addicts and so on. Yeah. What do you think Donald Trump would tell you that could possibly make you richer than what you already are? Um, I don't, don't think. Don't want to pull you I, I, I don't think Donald Trump could make me any richer. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really have a lot of faith in Donald Trump. After the last season of The Apprentice, I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't feeling him too much. Um, I don't really like him, so that's all I'm gonna Why say. don't you like him? Because I, I don't know. I guess I'm just watching The his Apprentice. Hair. Yeah. Well, besides his hair, he's just real chauvinistic, and just the fact that he has to be like the biggest and the best, like. I don't know, that's not what I'm about. What song would you write or what song can you think of that describes Donald Mr. Trump? Mr. Big Stuff, who do you think you are, Mr. Big Stuff? Can we get a backup singer? No! <laughs> no! We don't know him! How do you think you guys come to this area? What do you like about Columbus Circle, about, about this it's area? It's nice. It's really scenic, you know, I mean, you got the park right there, you have this nice fountain and everything like that. Aside from all the shopping and stuff that we can do. Yeah. Really appreciate it. <laughs> can you tell me something? Um, what do you think people think about uh, Donald Trump? And then, what do you think people think of Christopher Columbus? Um, well, as far as Donald Trump goes, basically everyone associates him with his catchphrase and everything. and. I think now after like his show, he's sort of taken on a, a bigger meaning than he had beforehand, and it's become more, I don't know. It's like a billboard. He, yeah, he's more like a billboard. He, like, he can be used to advertise stuff now much more than beforehand. Yeah. And he has funny hair. He does. That's a big selling point. Uh, tell us, um, what do you think Christopher Columbus and Donald Trump have in common in real estate? Well, you have that whole thing about uh, real estate. That's a, that's a tricky one, I have to say, real estate. Um, well, technically, Christopher Columbus, if he hadn't like discovered America, then there would not be all this real estate for Donald Trump to possess. And so. also, also how in 1492. Yeah, right? in the movie 1492, Christopher Columbus was played by Gerard Depardieu. And if there were a movie made about Donald Trump, I'd probably cast him. I would too. Yeah. And also, the score in 1492 was by Vangelis. And if I made a movie about Donald Trump, the score would be by Vangelis. Exactly. It would be a perfect opening shot, panning all the way up a building while, like, Vangelis' electronic score comes in, and then he's up there in, like, his penthouse looking out upon the city which he owns, and that's how I do it. Electronic music it owns. It's the truth. Can, um, can I have you uh, hum the uh, theme song for The Apprentice? And if not, uh, hum, hum a theme song or sing a theme song that you feel should be uh, Donald Trump's theme song. Mm-mm. Do 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 Yeah. Yeah. That. The Free Willy theme song. It works for pretty much everything. Yeah. Okay. Now let me ask you this. If you were Christopher Columbus and you were Donald Trump, what would you say to Donald Trump and what would you say to Christopher Columbus? and first time meeting? I would say, what's up Trump? Get a hair job. And I'd say to Christopher Columbus, what's up Christopher Columbus? Get a hair job. I think that says it all. So you really think, do you really think that both of them uh, need a new hair job or a new hairdresser? They'd probably say that, but personally, I think they should stick with the hair that they have, or had, in Christopher Columbus's case, because, well, and yeah. Trump too. Yeah, well, he still has it. Donald Trump is actually known for 
building great buildings. This is what he prides himself on. What do you think about his buildings? Well, I don't know him so much by his buildings, but more by his um, tabloid exploits with women. So from, from my standpoint, I always look at the, the women behind the empire, so to speak. I think of Christopher Columbus over there in the old world, and I think it was Queen Isabella that he went to, and she gave him the ships and the crew and the money to come over here. And without her, he couldn't have made the voyage. And ironically, I think probably what he was looking for is an entire new continent of women that he hadn't dated yet. <laughs> Lots of comedians like to make fun of him on late night talk shows. It doesn't bother you or you don't well, think listen, it's... if I had that much property and, and that much stress in my life, I would be having bad hair days all the time anyway. So I probably think he's earned his bad hair. Donald Trump has many uh, large buildings in New York, especially this 59th Street area where we are now. Uh, he owns a lot of real estate. He has real estate courses. Uh, he puts out full-page ads in AM New York, uh, the Daily Paper, uh, trying to get people to come to his course. He wants everybody to be rich. What do you think he could possibly tell you to make you rich? I don't think that the knowledge of wealth that I'm looking for in life would come from Donald Trump. I think that I already have a tremendous amount of wealth because I have a wonderful family and I have all of those great things that come from a sense of peace, knowing that you own your own soul.